Hello and welcome to another episode. Today, uh, software update 231102 came out. That's for the maps and head unit for all of the uh, Kia, Hyundai and Genesis models. Um, I'll go through each section and what they've all got in difference um, towards the end. But I'll just go through a summary of uh, what's changed or what's missing, what we expected and what's not there. Okay. When you're running the Kia navigation installer, the Kia would be nice now listed in the models so you can download the update for the head unit. So, well, at a bare minimum, it's going to enable wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Once in the car and you've inserted the USB stick after downloading the update onto the USB stick, you'll need to press finalize update during the install to make it install correctly. I found this on the Nero EV uh, Facebook group um, with a few people having an issue with it, so that's how I know. Um, so it saved me having to make a mistake and try and guess. So back in the group for that. The notes say wireless CarPlay and an Android Auto is included, but it's only for the CCNC head units. That's the Kia EV9 and the Kona EV MY24. So clarify. Uh, the percentage state of charge is missing from the Brute Planner. Uh, the US got this. I've reason to believe it's something that um, might appear because it's on the server side, just like the other um, time of charge that was in the Kia Connect app that went missing last week. And it could just be something that needs to be turned on the servers. But I could be wrong. We shall see. Uh, the maps database has definitely been updated. Um, the recently commissioned Ionity Gateshead now appears, but does not yet appear in the Kia Live Charger list. It means that the live database is out of sync with the embedded maps again. This probably means that the charger preheating will fail to work when I visit Gateshead next week for a gig. Anyway, I'll let you know. It's unclear if the tunnel mode window closing feature in the release notes works on the EV6 or other Gen 5W cars. I will test in a few weeks when I return to Heathrow Airport because it's got a tunnel going under the runway as you go in and I noticed it came on this morning for the recirculation so it's an ideal uh, time to test it. The access method and password remains the same as previous for the engineering mode so same password, same tappy tap fingers I'll put a link to my uh, video up there Sounds of Nature, curated by Jung Jae Il, the acclaimed music director behind the hits Parasite and Squid Game, has been completely revamped and to my ears sounds bloody gorgeous. Um, it's very Brian Eno-esque. Um, I'll put them in the background of all of this video so you can hear all of them. Alternative route planning settings are all present and correct on the EV6 and as you can see in the picture. Um, the audio levels have been remapped just like the US version. It sounds much better. Before you had to crank up the volume to 50 out of 75 to get a decent sound. Uh, now 12 will, will do. Also the volume levels in the radio and other media are now more consistent in volume level. The radio used to be a lot lower. Charge research screen has been updated. Now shows the time of last use of, for the chargers in your favourite destination site all on the front screen. And the energy consumption display from the EV menu is now available in the split screen. Anyway, I'll go through each of the update sites notes one by one. So starting with Kia. New features. In this software update, there is a new feature called Nearby Offers. Well, there are none near me. Obviously, the businesses have probably got to pay Kia and I or Genesis to advertise these offers. Um, but uh, I don't know, a bit of a gimmick. Uh, when traffic problems are detected on your route, the system model automatically calculates and displays the comparative time and the distance of an alternative route. The navigation system ensures that you can always see how fast your current route is. The system consistently guides you to the optimal route, regardless of current location or time, even in the event of changing traffic conditions or congestions in the roads. Uh, you can configure routes, feature, in the settings navigation route guidance. Uh, the system automatically closes windows when the vehicle enters the tunnel. Um, I mean it's showing the standard Gen 5 um, screen under this feature 
So maybe it is in there, maybe it's not. That's it. As I said earlier, I'll get to test it at Heathrow. Sounds of Nature 3 I've already covered. EV menu in the split screen has been updated. Using the split screen, easily check information on charging stations, whether it's one of your favourites near your set destination or one nearby. In addition to the battery status and range, the system will display the status of favourite charging station, charging station set as destination or nearby charging station based on your driving situation. Press the more button at the bottom of the split screen to access more details about the charging station displayed as well as the information about additional charging stations. So if I set Ionity Gateshead as my destination, if it was working right, then it, it should show a live status in the split screen if I've got it on, which is useful. And then the energy consumption screens in the split screen, as mentioned earlier. And then you've got the contentious, you can connect Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. It doesn't differentiate between CCNC and Gen 5W, but the example screens are all CCNC. And the Hyundai site has actually got a caption above the top screen saying it's CCNC. So they've managed to lose that. Anyway, that's all you, your Kia. Hyundai's got similar offers. And the traffic rerouting, window closing, Sounds of Nature, EV menu and split screen. Uh, and it's got an additional one, which is the uh, Amazon Music Streaming Service. Now, despite the EV9 being compatible with it, it's not shown on the other screen, the Kia. So this must be for the um, Kona MY24. And you could connect Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. Again, this is only going to be the CCNC. Genesis. You don't get the offer screens. Too, too, too tacky for Genesis because Genesis is the posh brand. I'm joking. <laughs> System automatically closes windows, that's the same. Um, Sounds from Nature 3. EV menus and energy usage split screens. Am Amazon Music Streaming Service um, available on the GB60 and coming to previous GB60s in 2024. Some of them in my comments. Um, Tried to activate this with the QR code in, in, in the app on the Genesis or something and it just took him to a page that didn't exist. So that's not quite ready yet by the sound of it. Or have you heard this before last week? Anyway, that's all I've got for this update of the update about the updates. Thank you for watching.